want us, you want us to go by Sweet Peach, or you have another name for us? Uh, that's fine. All right, so Sweet Peach, tell us where you're calling from. I'm calling from Canada. We're gonna work with Canada. And how old are you, and what do you do? Um, I am almost forty-eight. Um, I'm a social worker. Your birthday in May too? I'm sorry? Is your birthday in May? No, it's in July. Oh, that's an almost go for July day. Please, rest around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any children? I have one. She's an adult. She's my baby. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sweet bitch. Tell us what kind of man you're looking for and be exact. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I've been out of the game a long time, so I don't know. Guess I'm just seeing what's out there right now. Just sweet get you must know where you want. <laughs> okay, what are your deal breakers? Um non-smoker um somebody who enjoy communicating um somebody who is not afraid to laugh at themselves um i don't know i guess just somebody who you know typically humble but fun at the same time um, I don't know. <laughs> Do they have to be in Canada? Uh, not really. Not really. So they can be anywhere? Yeah. Do you have any physical requirements? Uh, not really. I should? <laughs> no, sweet Maybe I should. <laughs> Sweet Peach, yeah. I, okay, listen, what if you should, okay, what if you shorter to your than questions you? Questions and and prepare answers and come back. <laughs> no, you know these are there's no right answers to these questions, and everybody answers a different. I mean, I want to shy one and say, "Oh no, no, want this, oh no, no, want that." No, I guess I. I think it's because um I wasn't sure what to expect. Because the first time I just pop in and pop out, so I wasn't sure exactly what to expect. What if he's shorter than you? Is that okay? Uh not too short. <laughs> I'm not that tall. <laughs> anyway. How tall are you? I'm um, probably about five five. So you don't want anybody to be shorter than five five. We can work with that? Yeah, I can work with that. All right. What about um income? Does he have to have a certain income? Uh I think so. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to all of that. <laughs> then they don't want you don't want them eliminate themselves so you, you they don't get what you don't want. Oh well I'll, I'll... Sweet Peach, stop shy. <laughs> if, 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 what what is the what is money what money you want to make? The least honestly money. I've never thought about that. I guess I've, I've only thought about, you know, somebody who's actually making a decent income, um, somebody decent? who is hard working. Um, I don't know. I've never really thought about figures. Oh, but all right. We can say that you have a stable job then. You want to leave it right now? Well? Definitely a stable job. <laughs> Would you relocate? <laughs> if that one doesn't work. <laughs> Would you relocate? Uh it depends on where. Okay, where wouldn't you go? Um uh, maybe Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Have you ever been married? Yeah. Would you get married again? Definitely. It's been quite uh, a while. Why would you be a good seasoning in somebody's pot? 
why would I? I'm yeah. the real deal. Yeah, come true. <laughs> the real deal. Um, yeah, it's about time now anyway. It's been too long. What, what do you mean by you're the real deal? What about you makes you the real deal? Um, I'm a package. Like, um, I'm a good supporter. Um, I'm a hard worker. Um, I'm pretty much um, not into a lot of things like what most people, well, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> I, I guess I'm just on the quiet side then I should say. Still like my little fun, but you know, nothing overboard. Um, I'm pretty much okay with a lot of things. Like I don't stress the small stuff. Um, and I try to live for today. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. This is just me. Um, I haven't dated in a while, so. What's a while? <laughs> A while. Five years? A while. What's a while, sweet peach? Why are you giving these vague Some answers? <laughs> Some years. <laughs> I just don't want to be exact. Some years. All right, all right, all right. A, a so, while. Uh, You've been single for a while. Yeah. Sweet peach, which Jama are you Jamaican? Yeah. Which Jamaican dish best describes you? Uh, I'm gonna say <laughs> curry goat and rice on peas. <laughs> <laughs> Which Jamaican dish best describes your potential partner? Uh, I don't think there's one dish. <laughs> Our jerk chicken, a, li a little spicy. <laughs> Jerk chicken. Flavor. Right. Very flavorful. <laughs> if you could wake up anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be and why? Um, I think it would be, it would have to be a Caribbean country. Why? Because of the sun. I love the sun and I love being outdoors. So um, I think the sun does something to my mood, and I like that. It would be any Caribbean country, I guess, any highland. Okay. Are you are you done having children? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It depends. Sweet, sweet, can can done. Done. Listen, I can be done. Like I said, it depends. What if I'm with somebody? It depends on sweet peach, the man. It depends on what if I'm with somebody who doesn't have any kids and they want to have one. Then okay. I'm okay with Maybe that. Exception. Okay. So it depends. I can be done and I cannot be done. Okay. So it depends on if the man come with children and if you want one. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay if the man has children though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a cutoff number? Um, maybe three. <laughs> the most. What well, much the mother? Them? How much mother? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think the mother. I don't think that's. So you date a man with three children from three different women? Um. Uh, well, I'm not dating the women, so I don't think it would be an issue. Okay. Ah, sweet peach. All right. It wouldn't be an issue. So when we talk about physically, you, you said it didn't matter and we kind of got it down so he can't be shorter than you. Shorter than 5'5". Five five. But what about size? They're like skinny man, big man, thick man. Um, I don't mind skinny and thick, but maybe just not too, not too big. Well, listen, <laughs> you don't get everything that you want. And sometimes some things come in the parcel that you just have to work with. So, 
I guess that's why I'm not really so much when it comes on to physical appearance. Because sometimes the person who have the physical appearance is the person who is best for you. So I, I don't know if I want to put physical appearance in there. I think I'm pretty much okay as long as I don't know, as long as the belly not really all the way out there. Or if it's somebody who is um um athletic in terms of somebody who will, you know, go for walks or probably go to the gym or stuff like that. What about tattoos? Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but I'm pretty much okay with it. As long as your body is not covered with it. Okay. Because I think it takes away from the body, the beauty of the body. Okay, do you have any questions for Sweet Peach? <laughs> do you have any questions before I go, before I let her go? I can't see anybody, though. Anyone? I'm still not seeing anyone here. Why are you not seeing them? But how 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 will this man find you? What's your email or where, how would you like him to reach out to you? Um I think maybe text work. <laughs> Which one? Not email, text messages, probably that is fine. WhatsApp. I'm on WhatsApp. No, no phone number. Okay. Anything but phone number. Okay. Um yeah, email then, I guess. Yeah, email is good. Mm -hmm. What's your email? It's Rose for Winnie, R O S E number four, Winnie, W I N N I E, yahoo.com. Okay, one more time. Rose for Winnie, R O S E number four, W I N N I E, yahoo.com. Sweet Peach, what's an ideal date for you? Um, I I like doing fun stuff, so I prefer if it's a first date, then it has to be a date where we can go somewhere and talk, or maybe um, grab an ice cream or just a quick. Oh, I was gonna say a quick drink, but I don't drink alcohol, so. <laughs> I can't say a quick drink. Um, maybe, um, you know, play games. Like I like going to, um, I like playing, um, not pool. Um, what's the name of that stupid game? What if you get somebody who's not romantic and him don't like God? No. See me, I try to draw you out a sweet peach guy. You're not really giving much, you know. Some of us are showing you in a situation. No, he has yourself. to be, listen, he has to be romantic. All right, so if I can romantic, you don't be sweet peach. Tell me what you want. He can't, be, he can't be a hard person in terms of... <laughs> I don't like rough. Um, I'm, he has to be somebody who um very romantic, um who is okay with you know hugging in public holding hands and stuff like that um somebody who knows what their love language is um and somebody who likes to connect on that level um and also somebody who i can connect with on all level you know physical emotionally spiritual you know on every level um and I don't mind if he's a talker. I'm pretty, pretty okay. You don't mind what? If he's a talker. You know, you have some people, oh, yeah. they're in a relationship and you quite a person. I like somebody who can hold a conversation, who will have conversation, who will talk about just about anything. What if he's a mama's boy? Uh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Uh no, been there a lot. You're not gonna further, yeah. No, no, you're not gonna further. Long time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What if him don't have a car? Then how we gonna get around? How he's gonna see me? I don't want to be visiting all the time. 
So then stay in the backyard. Because then all of the ones we do up here go reach out to you and turn them down the door of the car. What? Please have a car. <laughs> no. No, sweet bitch. Pick your brother with you. I didn't know I should get through all of that. Oh, no. Well, say exactly where you want. I, like, you know where you don't want. Like, you don't want the guy to come at you. And you're like, oh, you don't have a car? No. When you put it, eliminate himself. All right. Eliminate yourself. Please have a car. Um, <laughs> please have a job. Please have a job. Don't be a mama's boy. Nope. No. What, what else? All right. say, say no Please be able, able to what cook. Else? Please be able to cook too, because I think it's it's sexy when a man can cook too, and not just the woman. It's nice if we're both in the kitchen sometimes, just doing our thing well, and having fun. Two million of sweet peach. Some people can cook like them can cook, and the food tastes good. Them can cook, or him can cook. That means that sometimes him can make dinner too. What do you mean? He can help himself. Cook? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I should have prepared for this, man. <laughs> no, just um, do what you want. No, the mama's boy was funny. <laughs> have you ever dated a mama's boy? Um, I think my husband was at some point, you know, when we just got married. My ex husband. Yeah. That was yeah. How long was your longest relationship? Um maybe twelve years ago. No, not how long ago. How long was it? Um, it was about uh, about fourteen years. Oh wow. Which man say mama bicycle? What if you have a bicycle? <laughs> An electric bicycle. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> what about a bike? What about Yang 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 there, Canada? <laughs> yang Yang there, Canada? I can't go Yang Yang. Yang Yang there, Canada. What about my Yang Yang? <laughs> No, the, the car yeah. will do. The right. car will do. Okay, the car. It doesn't yeah, so matter how the car steer, what a, a car, as long as the car. From point A to point B. Yeah, good car. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, and um, I'm a little bit on. <clears throat> On the church side too, so what is a big one? Yeah, I mean it doesn't have to be church person, but just um, good, really good qualities. Like it's, it, non-smokers out. They have to be a church man. No, it doesn't have to be. What from the believe in a church and God church and them something? Well, I think every, I think most Jamaicans, uh, and I said most Jamaican men believe, have, have an idea that God exists and believe to a level, even though if they don't go to church, and that's fine. Mm. As long as he's a good individual, right? So you'd be with somebody who, like, you all won't go to church and you not go to church with you? I'm okay with that. So the rest of them out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything against them like I have Rasta in my family but it's just no and listen yeah. when, when they say you don't want somebody there's no offense it's say what you want because somebody's gonna come on and say they want something and it's not gonna be you and that's okay mm -hmm. that's all you want too and yeah that's fine. And you don't want a Rasta man you don't want a Rasta man not no, no she no. want you to come on and say she want a Rasta man okay. so, so it, it that's fine that's fine. When we're gonna get that out there too. Is there anything anything else that you know? Huh? <sighs> what if he's not Jamaican? Mm, that's fine. Okay. If he's not Jamaican, that's fine. Okay. 
Well, I think, I think we get enough for people to eliminate themselves. I th you, can you think of anything else that would be an absolute no or something that you want them for? Okay, what is something you want them to come with for sure? Um, like, don't email me if you don't have this. Wow, just like that. Oh. For sure, I don't want somebody who is argumentative. Please, just <laughs> no. Like, I can't deal with that. Like, like it's a no no. I mean, I know there will be disagreements, but you know, you have, especially some of these men these days, they're like back and forth, back, like I'm, I'm, I'm not in for that. So, um, somebody who is a problem solver, somebody who, you know, willing to work things out and not want to stretch it out for a long time, you know, just deal with it here and now and just move on from it. Would you would you help a man financially? Like, what if you like him and him don't have a car? No. But, <laughs> but, but, mm -mm. you might try. Mm -mm. Right, what if you want to tell you my story? But it's not tonight. But, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, for come back and tell me the story. Probably been say you'll come back and share that story. <laughs> been there, done that, not doing it again. Not at all. So, you will not help a man financially? He, not that way. Oh, somebody's it, asking to believe in 50 50. Different if we're together already, and okay. you know, things might not be going well for you while we're already in the relationship. That's a different thing. But to start a relationship on that level, probably not. Uh, I've been burned really wicked with that one. Mm. Okay. And what if it. What, you wouldn't help him pay off him debt, like if him or wallet for people. Mm -mm. But would you even be with him if he if him or wallet for people? <laughs> Not really, because I don't want to assume the debt. Because mm. I'm gonna want to pay it off. Because that's how I am. So I don't want that. Ah, yeah, the seraphim. I'm a seraphim. It's just that. It's just who I am. It's just a kind of personality that I have. It's just me. I'm 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 really big on helping people and and and, and doing. Oh, stuff. I see. Especially if I'm with the person, because you want the best for them as you do for yourself too. So for me, it's not it's not a big thing to go out of my way and do stuff for them. So if that's the case, I'm not going to start with somebody like that. I don't want to start with somebody like that. Is that a school ring? This? No. Oh. Oh, I don't have a graduate yet. My graduation is in June. This is like a. Oh. Um, okay. Like a, a well, we we'll, we'll gotta draw you out, and you kind of start say where you want to start eliminate some people. That's good. I think we made progress. <laughs> See, you said a lot of things that you would have gotten all these people. You would have had to be filtering through them. Like the more you say what you want, the less you'll get what you don't want. See, you would have get Copper Brockman link you up. <laughs> <laughs> See, now them know they know them all oh, them all oh, couple people so them can't link you. Although you, you just open a door when they say you don't want pay it off. So I don't know. You still there done that. You might still harbor some. I, but would you date somebody who's broke? No. I guess broke is broke is relative. That that's a that's just a straight up no. No. I can't be broke by myself. I don't need somebody to be broke with. Okay. okay. So no. Somebody was saying, what if you're in debt? Well, if I'm in debt, I'm not expecting that of my partner to do that. Because I think it's a little bit too much to ask. So, of course, I let the person know that I'm in debt, but that that but they are not required to to pay that off. I see. I see. That's that's my debt that I assume, right? Well, sweet peach, we're glad we we got out a lot. 
in terms of filtering who's gonna come through. So if you're interested in sweet peach and you've made it through all the filter and you're still there and you're so like she so like she described you, it's Rose for Winnie at Yahoo.com. R-O-S-E number four W-I-N-N-I-E at Yahoo.com. Thank you for coming here, sweet peach. Thank you for coming to the kitchen. Thank you for having me. And come back and tell us that story. And then come back and tell us how it went if somebody reached out to you. Okay. Come back and let us know what happened. All right. It sounds good. Thank you for being here. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, I like when people say they're going to do something and then they actually do it.